द फर्स्ट स्टेटस इट इज गिवन एस Anjali Bibhushan Chitra visited an entertainment park that has four rides. Each ride lasts one hour and can accommodate one visitor at one point. All rides begin at 9 a.m. and must be completed by 5 p.m. except for ride three, for which the last ride has to be completed by 1 p.m. Ride gates open every 30 minutes, 10, 10:30 a.m. and so on. Whenever a ride gate opens and there is no visitor inside, the first visitor waiting in the queue buys the ticket just before taking the ride. The ticket prices are rupees twenty, fifty, thirty, and rupees forty for rides one to four respectively. Each of three visitors took at least one ride and did not necessarily take all rides, so it is not mandatory that each and every person should take all the rides. None of them took the same ride more than once. The movement time from one ride to another is negligible, and a visitor leaves the ride immediately after the completion of the ride. No one takes a break inside the park unless mentioned explicitly. The following information is also known. Chitra never waited in the queue and completed a visit by 11 a.m. After spending rupees 50 to pay for the tickets, that means she should have taken a single ride that costs rupees 50 or a combo ride that costs her 50. Anjali took ride one at 11 a.m. after waiting for 30 minutes for Chitra to complete it. It was the only ride where Anjali waited. So Anjali has not waited for any other rides. So she had waited for ride one for Chitra to complete. Bibasha began her first of her three rides. So Bibasha has taken a total of three rides, and she began first of her three rides at 11:30 a.m. All the three visitors incurred the same amount of ticket expense by 12:15 p.m. The last ride taken by Anjali and Bibasha was the same, where Bibasha waited 30 minutes for Anjali to to complete her ride before standing in the queue for that ride. Bibasha took a one-hour coffee break before. Uh, after completing a previous ride, which means a total time frame of one and a half hours, so she has taken a coffee break for one hour and 30 minutes. She has waited for Anjali to to complete her ride, and these are the information which is given. And we are going to tabulate the information as follows. And what has been given? All the rides should end by 5 p.m. So none of the rides can start at 4:30. because for ride to end by 5 pm each ride is going to last for one hour means so all the rides should have started by 4 pm only and ride 3 should have been completed by 1 pm for ride 3 to completed to be completed by 1 pm it should have started at 12 so it cannot start at 12:30 so from 12:30 there is no ride for ride 3 and these were the basic details and some more informations has been given chitra never waited in the queue and completed a visit by 11 am after spending rupees 50 so she completed chitra completed by 11 am after spending 50 anjali took ride 1 at 11 so anjali took ride 1 so she would have been in that ride till 12 o'clock after waiting for 30 minutes for chitra to complete it it was the only ride where anjali waited so which means chitra was already in this ride So Chitra would have completed by 11. Then only Anjali would have started the same ride at 11. So for Chitra to complete a ride at 11, she would have started the ride at 10. And for ride one, the cost is going to be 20. And for ride two, the cost is going to be 50. And for ride three, it is going to be 30. And for ride four, it is going to be 40. So Chitra has spent 20 rupees till 11. But what has been said? What has been said? She has completed all her visits by 11 and incurred a cost of 50. So she would have spent an additional 30 in which ride, ride three. If she is completing all her rides by 11, she would have started by 9 a.m. ride three and completed the ride at 10. And without break, she would have started a ride one because there should not be any break until or unless it is mentioned explicitly in the given information. So soon after completing ride three, she would have started ride one. And completed her entire ride by 11 a.m. and incurred a cost of rupees 50. And moving on to the next, Basha took a first of her three rides at 11:30 a.m. Okay, so first of her three rides at 11:30 a.m. What ride? We don't know. All the three visitors incur the same amount of ticket expenses. That means by 12:15, Chitra has incurred 50. So Anjali should also spent. Would have spent 50 rupees by 12:15, and Bibasha should also be 50 by 12:15 p.m. So Anjali has already taken a ride one, which her cost her 
and this is completed by 12 so before 1215 she should have spent 30 rupees that is only possible case will be what she should have taken ride 3 so after completing this ride 1 she would have went to ride 3 and taken the ride at 12 because she cannot take the ride at 1230 and there is no break for Anjali as well so she would have been in that ride till 1 pm and now she is spending 20 plus 30 50 because she is spending 30 rupees at 12 but by, by 12 15 she would have spent 50 rupees satisfies the given information and Bibasha to take a ride at 11 30 a.m as the first ride and she should also incur the same expense by 12 15 means that is only possible case she should take what ride ride 2 by 11 30 she is taking ride 2 and till 12 30 she will be in that ride and the last ride taken by Anjali and Bibasha was the same where Bibasha waited 30 minutes for Anjali to complete her ride before standing in the queue for that ride. Bibasha took a one hour coffee break after completing a previous ride. So there should be a gap of one and a half hours. So what ride Anjali and Bibasha are going to take same as their last ride? See if uh, Bibasha is going to take a first ride, Anjali, Anjali should also be in that ride. But that is not possible because each and every person should ride only once in a ride. So Anjali has already taken this ride. So Bibasha and Anjali cannot take this ride together. And whereas ride 2 is already taken by Bibasha, so again Anjali cannot, Anjali and Bibasha both cannot take this ride. Here, no ride is going to happen after 12.30. So the only possible case is ride 4. So let's look into possible cases. So soon after finishing ride 2, Bibasha is taking 1 half hour break. 1 hour for coffee and is going to wait for Anjali to, to complete the ride. So 1 and a half hours means 12.30 she is completing ride 2. And for 1 and a half hours it will be 2. So if she is taking ride 4 at 2 say then she would have waited for Anjali to, to complete a ride she waited for 30 minutes na? so soon after Anjali completing uh, ride 3 at 1 she will be taking ride 4 means this satisfies the given information but the point to be noted here is that Vibhasha is taking 3 rides and Anjali and Vibhasha together are taking the last ride and so far how many rides have been completed for Vibhasha only 2 rides but here the third information says that Bibasha began first of all three rides. So a total of three rides has been taken by Bibasha. So Bibasha has to take ride one also because three is not possible, four is taken, two is already taken and Bibasha has to come and this cannot be a last ride. So this possible case is false. So if she cannot take this ride, she has to take another ride. So she has to go for ride one then only come for ride four and Bibasha is waiting only for Anjali in a last ride so she is not going to wait in any other case so soon after finishing a ride at 12 30 she is going to take the next ride that is ride one at 12 30 and she is going to be in that ride for 1 30 till 1 30 for one hour and then she is going to take a one and a half hour break so one and a half hour break is going to be 3 pm and she is going to come for ride four and where she waited for anjali to complete and anjali waited only for Chitra and in no other place she is going to wait so what is the possible case if Anjali is completing ride 3 at 1 and she is going to take a ride 4 at 2 say then she should have taken some other ride at 1 pm right so that is the only possible case will be ride 2 so after completing ride 3 at 1 she has taken ride 2 at 1 and completed ride 2 at 2 and she went straight to ride 4 and Bibasha was waiting there for uh, 30 minutes for Anjali to complete and she has Bibasha has completed the last ride by 4 pm so this forms the complete solution for the given data set to answer the first question what was the total amount spent on tickets by Bibasha so Bibasha has taken how many rides Bibasha has taken ride 1 uh, ride 2 and uh, ride 4 so this will cost her 20 and 50 and last ride is going to cost her 40 so a total of how much rupees 110 rupees so that will be the answer for the first question right. which were all the rides that Anjali completed by 2 pm so Anjali should have completed so by 2 pm Anjali completed ride 1 and by 2 pm Anjali completed ride 2 and by 2 pm Anjali completed ride 3 and 
at 2 pm she is taking right 4 so this should not be included so the only possible answers will be answer will be right 1 right 2 and right 3 so option a is your answer which ride was taken by all three visitors so all three visitors means a b c right 4 only a and b right c only a and c right 2 only a and b and right 1 is taken by all the three visitors so option c is the answer for this question how many rides did anjali and chitra take in total anjali took all the rides so anjali has taken a uh, total of four rides and Chitra has taken only ride one and ride three so two rides so four plus two six will be the answer for this question a total of six rides taken by Anjali and Chitra together what was the total amount spent on tickets in rupees by Anjali so Anjali has gone for all the rides so Anjali would have spent for ride one it she had spent 20 and for ride two it is 50 and ride three it is 30 and ride four it is 40 so a total of how much rupees 70 and 70 is going to cost her rupees 140 will be the answer for this question